All right, so it is 10.58 p.m. The night of the full moon, October 20th, 2021. In front of my television, I have my cell phone and I have queued up on my cell phone a photograph of a quarter. A quarter that I found in the Vons supermarket last night. The quarter commemorates Idaho. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Well, the quarter commemorates Idaho. It has a peregrine falcon featured on it. It has the year that it was minted in 2007. Wait a minute. Right? Okay, wait a minute. There's another one. Wow. This quarter is very, very special. It is a connection between me and my friend Mary. Mary lives in Idaho. And the coin commemorates her birthday, our connection, the connection of her mother and my brother, who are both in spirit. It's quite a spiritual web. So much magic and synchronicities. Well, I wanted to ask if our loved ones wanted to come forward to acknowledge that quarter that I found last night. I found it on the 19th of October, and Mary's birthday is on the 19th of November, right? Yep. And the numbers are too personal to share publicly, but hello, Jesus. <laughs> but the, the numbers uh, align with several things for Mary. Well, this was beautiful, inspiring, and I knew Mary will feel the same way. So, thank you, my light family. I send you love and blessings. Mary does as well. Is there anything else you wish to share before I turn my camera off? Anything else you would like to share? Okay. Then that's a wrap. And I say good night. Yes.
Thank you for the quarter. Thank you for the symbol of love. Thank you for your messages. We're eternally grateful. And I say good night.
here is what I would like to share with you about Mike coming forward. Mike transitioned back into the light two years ago. He came forward first as a blue colored light to signify to me a male energy. He was the only light being during this video that went directly over the image of the quarter. He did so twice. This is significant. He has two daughters with Mary, and so going over the picture twice is a nod to the daughters. He also transitioned into two other colors, yellow and pink. He also came in at 11 o'clock. The number 11, if you break it down, 1 plus 1 equals 2. This is the light of Mary's mother, Norma. Norma's light is passing over my angel of joy figurine. This particular angel is holding bouquets of daisies and she has daisies in her hair and her dress is adorned with daisies as well. For Norma to go over this particular angel is significant. For on Mother's Day 2021, I was speaking to my brother Leland about Mary, and he saw a woman approach him. Her hand was outstretched with a bouquet of daisies, and she identified herself as Mary's mother and said that she was offering this bouquet of daisies to Mary as a sign and a symbol of love and asking her to be happy. When I shared that message with Mary, she told me that when she was in high school, her mother made her a dress that had daisy trim. And when she got married, her bouquet was that of daisies. So Norma was once again offering to Mary for her upcoming birthday, a bouquet of daisies and offering her love and happiness. As I was wrapping up this video, it was Mary's grandson Ryan that appeared and ascended over my cat canoodle's picture, which says love across it. And he changed the color of his light several times. This was Ryan's way of sending love to his grandmother. Ryan transitioned back into spirit at the young age of 17 and he has come to me several times. I must say that he is quite a strong and unique and loving spirit that has taught me and shown me things that no other spirit has. So Ryan holds a very special place in my heart and keeps me deeply connected to his grandmother. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much for watching.